Do y'all remember back when life was a whole lot simpler? And really on any given day you only had two questions you had to answer. The first being of course do you want to add the extra McRib for only a dollar? And the second being do you want the carbon fiber barrel or the steel barrel on your B14R? Now of course the answer to question one is always of course I want the extra McRib for a dollar. You're going to regret it later. Not only the second one, but the first one. But in the heat of the moment, you need both of them. Which is actually pretty much answers the qu second question too, right? You need both of them. You gotta have the carbon and the steel. Actually, if you only want one, I've got another video that, you know, maybe give you some ideas on which one you want to choose. You both have options, but you can have both. If you're watching this in real time-ish, so January 2022, kind of, you'll notice that the BMR, this guy, this one right here, is starting to show up. And some of y'all are starting to wonder, do I want the BMR or do I want the B14R? Which actually makes things even worse because now you've got BMR, B14R, carbon, or steel. And pretty soon you're going to have two more caliber choices. You're going to have the 22 Win Mag and the 17 HMR. So that's like one, two, carry the. I don't know, a couple of dozen rifles you're going to have to buy because you need one of each. I guarantee it. <sighs> but most of y'all are like me. You don't have money for all of them. So maybe we, right now we need to budget for one or the other. I'm going to share a few thoughts on the BMR and the B14R. This is my carbon barrel version and this is the steel barrel version. and it doesn't really matter because for the purpose of this video I'm not going to get all technical on you. Actually none of my videos do I get technical on. All the facts and measurements and specs and stuff are out on their web page because they know what they're talking about. I don't. So you can look them up. I'll link them somewhere. I'm going to be pretty generalized and use relative terms because that's kind of how I make decisions, right? So that's disclaimer number one. Disclaimer number two is everybody asks, which is more accurate? Well, I can't answer that because every rifle is a little different. Ammo is different. Conditions are different. Shooters are different. I will tell you this. I've got the BMR steel, the B14R carbon, and the B14R steel. All of them shoot pretty close to the same. They all have different ammo they like, but for my three samples, they're pretty close. We're not even going to talk about accuracy. We're just going to assume it's pretty decent. Alright, I'm going to toss the B14R out of the way here. Talk about the BMR, because you know this is the new kid on the block. BMR, Bergara Micro Rimfire Action. That's pretty cool. The name actually says what it is. This is the new rimfire specific action. It's a different action than the B14R. This one feels like a rimfire. I mean, we're clear. We're not going to put a hole in the basement wall again. We're good to go. So, one of the initial impressions you're going to have when you pick one of these up is you're going to say, yep, that feels like a 22. It has the feel of a rimfire. That's kind of the best way to describe it. It's light, it's short, feels like a 22. Action is brand new to this design, which means that, you know, bases, not bases, 
Yeah, scope basis. That's what I'm talking about. See? That's why I don't get technical. I don't the words all jumble around up there. Scope bases, rails, this thing up here that your scope mounts to. Those are specific to the B14R. Cool thing is, this is actually a Remington 700 trigger, so if you want to swap that out, you're good to go there. BMR specific stock, it's, you know, straight, swept back grip, kind of traditional looking stock, nothing fancy about it. Feels like a Rimfire stock. I had to add a riser on here so I get my eye in line with my big old optic on top there. Not everybody's going to have to do that. If you have a smaller optic, may not have to. So, everything about this is kind of new, except for the trigger. Feels like a 22. Budget wise, it's a little cheaper than the B14R. So, if you're getting into the precision rimfire game and want to stay kind of in that base class for NRL 22, this is going to be a really good option. If you just want a plinker, you want something to carry around in the woods, blasting at the fuzzy little creatures and tin cans and hopefully not your neighbor's livestock, this might be the one for you. Let's talk about the B14R again. So if you get on the old Bergara website, you'll notice they were, used the word trainer a lot on there. And that's because this fella feels a lot like a full-size centerfire rifle. Because, well, action, 700 compatible. 700 Remington 700 bases, uh, 700 triggers, the stock 700 action. You're kinda, sky's the limit when you want to customize the B14R. All the 700 stuff will fit. It feels like your full-size Remington 700 action rifle. It's a little heavier, a little longer, a little beefier. Stock has a mini chassis in it, so there's no flex in this. Adjustable comb, vertical grip, all that good stuff. Now, it's heavy-ish. Not really something I want to carry around out in the woods all day long, but if you're in the competition game, weight's your friend a lot of the times. But MSRP's a little higher on this than the BMR, so you're almost certainly going to be in an open class if you're looking at the NRL 22 type of competitions. I... Don't fall off of there. You could slap, you know, Walmart special scope on there, and I guess technically still be in the, you know, base level. But what's the fun on that? Again, if you're getting in the competition, maybe this is the rig for you. It's a little big if you're a kid, very small frame shooter, whatever. But you can do whatever you want to with it. I just realized that, you know. I talked for nine minutes or whatever and didn't really answer your question because I'm really good about that, skating around the answer. I can't tell you which one you want. There's some of my thoughts on kind of, you know, how they feel and what I think is best. Well, not even best. They're both the best. They might have a little bit different applications. So, that might help you. I don't know. May not. But... I do appreciate you watching, and if you have any questions, please dump them down in the comments. I like to read them and like to answer them. So, thanks for watching. Get some kids out shooting. BMR is perfect for that. Actually, the B14R is also good for that. Doesn't matter. Get the kids out. Thanks for watching.